Welcome to He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 128.2. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released July 2nd, 2014, beginning alphabetically with Action Comics number 33. Superman finally succumbs to the Doomsday Virus and transforms into Super Doom. Is anybody in the universe safe from his vast power and fury? How can Superman possibly find a cure for his condition when the Monster of Steel has completely taken over his mind? Next, we have Aquaman and the Others, number four. Who is the mysterious armored figure that wants Aquaman's trident and the Others Atlantean relics? And more important, why? We've also got Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet, number two of six. The reunion of the greatest TV team-up of the 1960s continues. The fearless foursome struggle to escape General Gum's sticky death trap, while the gloating Gum assumes the worst and plots to take his criminal activities to the next level. His plans for expansion require some expert help from an unexpected source. Assuming our heroes escape, will they be able to overcome this new deadly duo? Co-published with Dynamite Entertainment. Next, we have Batman Eternal number 13. A demon from Jim Gordon's past comes to haunt him in Blackgate while the gang war threatens to rip Gotham City apart. Can Jason Bard keep the order without coming head-to-head -head with Batman himself? We've also got Batman Superman number 12. A new arc begins following the events of First Contact. The worlds of Batman and Superman come to an explosive clash as something terrible happens to the world's finest team, and a Dark Knight who's not quite himself must team up with Lois Lane to find a missing Man of Steel. Meanwhile, Selina Kyle encounters a person of amazing strength who has no idea who he is. Next, we have Batwing number 33. Batwing tries to stem the tide of the snakebite drug trade, but he may be overwhelmed by his own inner demons and by the mysterious gruesome George. We've also got Earth 2 number 25. In this extra-sized issue, Val Zod finally accepts his role as the new Superman of Earth 2 as he faces the twisted, brutal original Superman who once protected the planet but now prepares it for apocalypse and the forces of Darkseid. Next, we have Ferris number 27. In this new epic, refugees from Fabletown have returned to New York's Castle Dark, and Renard, now able to shapeshift from fox to man, travels the mundane world to regale the animals with tales of his exploits, rubbing the other fables' noses in his good fortune. Frustration at their restriction to the farm threatens to become an issue once more. Can the animals find a way out of their situation? We've also got Green Arrow number 33. As Richard Dragon systematically takes apart Oliver Queen's world in Seattle, we introduce a new person under Green Arrow's hood. Next, we have Green Lantern number 33, Uprising Part 5. The final battle of the Uprising to remove the Green Lantern Corps from power begins. Every decision Hal Jordan has made as leader of the Green Lanterns has led to this, but is he leading his soldiers to watery graves below the surface of a bizarre alien sea? We've also got Hinnerkin number 9. John and Prosper become embroiled in an ogre murder mystery, even as the Vampire Nation's expedition to America continues its search for blood, conquest, and a hot lunch. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, Princess Tercia learns how to divine the shape of things to come. Next, we have Justice League 3000, number 8. The mysterious leader of the Five is revealed as the villains attack the Justice League and lay waste to Cadmus, killing the Flash again. But you can't keep a good woman down. Wait, did we say woman? We've also got New 52 Futures End number 9. Can the mass Superman stop a rampage in Metropolis? Plus, Batman Beyond must figure out what to do after a startling revelation threatens to change his entire mission. Next, we have Scooby-Doo Team-Up number 5. Wonder Woman's homeland is under attack by mythological monsters that vanish into thin air before the Amazon warriors can fight back. Scooby, Wonder Woman, and the gang must work together to solve this mystery. We've also got Superman and Chain number 7. It's a rampage in the Batcave. It's come to this. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman against Wraith. Alone, they wouldn't have a chance, but they don't have much of one together either. And all the while, Lex Luthor's machinations are clicking into place. Next, we have Swamp Thing number 33. Swamp Thing has more enemies than he ever knew, and one of them is someone he called a friend. But once said friend has put a magical hit on you, a squadron of occult assassins show up on your doorstep, it gets difficult to smooth things over. We've also got Tiny Titans Return to the Treehouse number 2 of 6. The Tiny Titans journey to the Fortress of Solitude where they meet up with the Man of Steel. Can he help them get their treehouse back? Only if he's not super busy. And we've got Trinity of Sin, the Phantom Stranger, number 21. The angel Zuriel is dead, and that leaves the stranger without his guardian angel just in time for the arrival of the Fallen. 
Out in trades this week, we have Absolute All-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder hardcover, the smash hit Batman epic by modern master Frank Miller of Batman Year One and the Dark Knight Returns, and artists extraordinaire Jim Lee and Scott Williams of Batman Superman is now collected in DC's Absolute format, including issues 1 through 9. Lee and Miller joined forces to tell a new version of Dick Grayson's origin in a high-octane tale that unfolds with guest appearances by Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Black Canary, and more. Next, we have Cinder and Ash trade paperback. Cinder and Ash are a team of private investigators, one a veteran of the Vietnam War, the other the daughter of another U.S. soldier and a native Vietnamese woman. They've been hired to find a kidnapped girl, but as they travel across the U.S. on her trail, their own traumatic pasts come back to haunt them, collecting the four-issue miniseries for the first time. We've also got Green Lantern Corps Volume 4 Rebuild Trade Paperback. The Guardians are dead, leaving the Corps to fend for itself. Now it's up to Jon Stewart to train a group of rookies with deadly foes hot on their tails and rings that aren't functioning properly. And there's an ancient evil lurking at the edge of the universe that threatens to extinguish their lives forever. This new title collects Green Lantern Corps number 21 through 27 and annual number 2. Next, we have Green Lantern New Guardians Volume 3 Love and Death trade paperback. In this new title, collecting issues 0 and 13 through 20 of the hit series, Kyle Rayner and his fellow Lanterns must join forces to beat back the Third Army and survive the wrath of the First Lantern. Green Lantern and Kyle Rayner must master the emotional spectrum to stand a chance against the Third Army, but even then a more dangerous threat lurks in the shadows, the First Lantern. We've also got Harlan Ellison's Seven Against Chaos trade paperback. Harlan Ellison, science fiction's brightest luminary, has joined forces with multi-award winning artist Paul Chadwick, creator of Concrete, and colorist Ken Stacy, to bring you Seven Against Chaos, a graphic novel that is singular, powerful, and unpredictable. This extraordinary odyssey of mystery and adventure will take you to the rim of reality and beyond. In the distant future, Earth is in grave danger. The fabric of reality itself is unraveling leading to catastrophic natural disasters, displaced souls appearing from bygone eras, and sudden shocking cases of spontaneous combustion. The only hope for Earth's survival is a force of seven warriors, each with his or her special abilities, but can these alien seven samurai learn to get along in time to find the source of the gathering chaos and save all of reality? And we've got Superboy Volume 4 Blood and Steel trade paperback. The Teen of Steel decides it's time to become more proactive in his battle against evil, and the Hive Agency is the perfect place to start. But as Superboy and the Teen Titans get closer to these lethal enemies, they'll find secrets and revelations darker than they ever could have imagined. Collect Superboy number 20 through 27. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but of course there's still plenty of other books out this week too, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney and I've got issues.